big war with Poland incoming. They attacked our brothers and sisters in the faith, and we just cannot allow that. Now, sadly, we are not the war leader because EU4 does not uh, calculate war leader based on anything other than who was attacked. So uh, despite the fact that we 100% should be the war leader, we are not. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Sadly, these guys are our ally. Uh, actually, I guess that doesn't mean anything. Because after this war, we will attack Hamburg because we want more trade over here. This trade over here is just sitting there. We could be making a lot more money from trade than we are. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to get prepared. We do have Force March. So let's uh, Blitzkrieg these lads down. This is an absolute no problem. Look at that. Where are you going, huh? Where are your armies going, huh? Where are you going, huh? Oh, this is Woods. That's actually a bad, bad fight for us. But since we have so many men, I'm, I'm not really worried about it. Though, just because I have man doesn't mean I men doesn't mean that I should be using them all, right? Uh, local settler increase or not. I'll lose some admin. I don't mind that. Siege down a couple of provinces over here. And uh, this is a speed 5 war. I'm not worried about it. Essex needs court as well, of course. What am I doing? We're going to end up having rebels over there. It's fine. I, I don't care. I'll send some armies over there. Force limit is probably way higher now. 140, which is nuts. Get another general over there. Sponsor the university. Innovativeness, admin mana for money and prestige or not. Uh, no, I'll take the admin mana. Mana's nice. I'll take it. There's no nothing wrong with taking it. Though, right. We need to get these guys converted. I said I wanted to do that. I'll actually even do one of these little like fake things. And that will allow me to um, convert it a little bit faster, right? So it said 20 before, but now it's only 16, right? So we'll convert it before we add it to the trade company. These guys are somehow not breaking to rebels. Which is kind of nuts. They're finally getting onto their capital. Denmark. Oh, Sweden declared independence as well. A couple episodes ago, I called them Switzerland. <laughs> I love, oh yeah, Switzerland was asking me for uh, mill access. I wonder why. <laughs> My bad, lads. I'm telling you, until you have made videos where you're talking and trying to be like entertaining and educational at the same time while also understanding what's going on, I promise you it's so much harder than you think. <laughs> I do my best for you, though. I do do my best. Do do. Yes. Poopy. I try, but uh, sometimes it's easier said than done. Sadly, we also can't win a siege over here, apparently. Let's um get some spy network on these lads. It's a bummer I couldn't um, rival them first. It would have been very useful. Let's... uh Wow, they deleted a bunch of their forts. Holy crap. Actually, maybe they didn't. Oh, there's usually a fort in Plock here. One of my favorite provinces in the game, Plock. That's how it's pronounced, if you didn't know. That is the correct pronunciation. That's the Polish pronunciation. A lot of people call it Płock, but that's actually wrong. That's uh that's how like non non-Polish speakers pronounce it. Polish pronouncers, Polish speakers pronounce it Plock. So cool information. That's like your trivial pursuit information for the day. If they pronounce it Płock, that's how you know that they don't actually speak Polish. Uh I cracked myself up. So give it to Liege. You guys will continue to explore a little bit. Let's have you guys explore South Indian Ocean Coast, Eastern Indian Ocean Coast. That sounds good. It's always weird when right clicking works or then it doesn't work. And then, oh, what are you doing over here? No way. I am over it. This game is so corny. They really marched men all the way around here, snuck men past my armies to siege down my capital. I lost all my prosperity now. Sons of guns. That is annoying. That is very annoying, actually. Put the defensiveness on there. We're winning these sieges so fast, it doesn't even matter. The war will be over before they even siege me down, but... That is so stupid. I hate that. Thanks, I hate it. And we're also going to get English separatists. It is what it is. There we go. All right, Poland. Get out of my lands, you jerks. And they're reinforcing. And I still win. Good lord, you guys suck. Get out of here. Get bent, mate. Look at that. How does that feel? How does that feel? Oh. Get absolutely dookied on. All right, let's get these guys over there just so whenever those rebels do spawn, I can fight them. Um, it's a sad reality, but, uh, Russell is, or however it's pronounced, is just going to have to sit there for a minute. My vassals can't handle the war. It's no big deal. Have you, uh, march on over there? All is well. As far as colonies go, let's get a couple more over here. So let's recall you. 
Let's get uh, you. And then this one's almost done here. These guys down here are doing well. Good news. Yes. So this is Protestant. So I'm going to wait until we can convert uh, Ivory Coast as well. We don't need it all in the trade company. Like it doesn't. Trade companies are not going to make us that much money early on. It'll come in time. That's good though. We definitely need to start colonizing the East Coast as well. Look at this. I hate this. I hate this so much. You literally can't. You cannot because these are all natives. These are all natives that are like five, six, ten provinces each each nation. Ah, oh, paradox. Don't ever change, please. But that's okay. It's not okay, but it's fine. So it's fine. Pull these lads over here. Our war participation is like uh, 50. These don't add up to 100%. So I don't know how that works, but anyways. I will put these guys here and then I will automatic rebel suppress and that will then they'll head down here and siege. Oh, wait, they won't because it's not sieged in a. Oh, I can have them do it from here. Okay. Sometimes they'll siege stuff down that's sieged down by enemies in war. Just waiting on some colonies to finish up. This one's almost done there. We do need to get some more men over there. So let's go like four more men. Just pop, park them over in Cameroon. English separatists. Very good. Let's convert. Ooh, that is expensive AF. I will probably full state it after I'm done coring up London. Let's also have you guys do some exploration over there. Exploration is coming along well. We sunk a navy somewhere. One more month or two. More money, please. There we go. Add you there. And uh, make sure London is upgraded. Uh, oh, wait, we're at war. Well, hopefully they peace out soon. I have a capital. I have his capital under occupied. Kind of funny. What's going on here? There we go. Oh. One of our allies pieced out. That's funny. Ivory Coast has been cored up. Let's get these guys over there. Begin a colony over here as well. Basically, we just want to colonize. Oh, shoot. That is 9,000? Really? Holy smokes. All right. Let's... Sadly, I think this colony is going to be lost here. Let's uh, get a general over there real quick. Yep, sadly. That is so unfortunate. 9,000. That is a lot of natives. That might be the most natives. I don't think I've ever seen that many. People are peacing out still. There we go. Truce with some people is over. Don't care. It's fine. Recall. Send you to Cameroon. Let's have you guys bring up one. Have you guys like bring up one. Essex is now part of our patrimony, so we'll core you up as well. Governing capacity, I think, is fine, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're totally fine. Next one, I think we said we we're going to go with the diplomat. That is fine. Lubeck is at 99 war score, but will not peace out. Let's just give him the capital. See if he'll peace out now. He's actually letting his capital get sieged down instead because they're insufferable. And this game is broken. So, missionary strength. Here we go. Right. I want to convert Ivory Coast first. Let's uh, make sure we royal marry these guys. Having a big, strong ally is helpful for us. Very good. Have you guys go over there. Let's, let's actually have you guys come down here and have these guys. Yeah, but another one. Miltech. I think I'd rather dev. Let's take a look at our dev map. Yep. You can see where we are on the map. I love that. Thank you for finally piecing out. Danzig just... Okay, Lubeck. So that actually just dismantled their uh, trade league, which is awesome. That means I can come in here and attack these guys. So let's, uh, let's do that then. Let's get over there. Who else joined? Nobody I care about. Look at this map mode. France joined reformed 
All right, man. And uh, as soon as we convert this, we can add it to the trade company. Let's, uh, yeah, this is fine. So this will allow us, we are very close to getting this mission down here. Has been improved at least five times. Really? Okay. Guinea region. Has been improved at least five times. Okay. Why are these provinces? Okay. I guess we just have to dev it up a little bit. That's fine. We'll convert that. These guys over here are done as well. So let's let's switch you guys over to missionary strength. And uh, whenever these are done, we will be able to convert them as well. So let's um do some production. Production dev is going to help us the most. Five. Five. So that should be three. Very good. We're almost done here. And so that will finish that mission there, which is good. And um, renamed the province and colonial outpost, which gives three trade value. Very good. Sadly, it's just fish, which is not useful, but that's okay. We can live with it. We take those L's or take the L every once in a while. It happens. I don't know how these guys haven't broken to rebels. That's kind of nuts. Denmark is done. Did we do that? <laughs> Oops, did I do that? <laughs> I might have. I don't know if I'm responsible for it. But either way, I'm cool with it. Speaking of that, let's come in here. We want to take away whatever is giving them influence. I don't want to call a diet because that gives uh, influence to everybody. Um, supremacy of... Mm -hmm. This gives everybody else influence as well, so we'll pull that. I don't care about them being a little disloyal. That actually allows me to pull another one here. Let's get rid of patronage of the arts. A couple of them, like these these two, I will gladly keep. And as a matter of fact, I'm actually willing to give this one up as well. Oh, yeah. I'll keep these three if I can. There's no reason to, to get rid of them if you can afford them. Yeah, like, why can I not right-click that, huh? Let's have you guys explore South Indian Ocean. Spain has been discovered building spy network. Oh, no. I'm so scared now. Literally shaking and crying. Let's annex you guys. No coalition that I need to worry about. At least at a quick glance. But that right there will give us a ton more trade. There was 12 ducats that were still in this node before. And, uh, yeah... That's pretty good. I have those guys come up here. That also gives us another fort, which is nice. Speaking of forts. Yeah. Let's uh let's upgrade all of our forts here. Very good. Um Upgrade the forts in our vassals as well. Might as well, right? Am I already building that one? No. So he's colonizing right there. Interesting. How are they doing though, though? They I've been subsidizing them quite a bit. So they're good. They're definitely good. Um They're Catholic. Nani? Oh right. Yeah, of course they're Catholic. Alright, let's enforce religion on them. For some reason that didn't give them any liberty desire. Oh right, yeah, right, right. I knew that. So let's decrease your tariffs. Force religion on you. And then placate you twice. And there you go. Now they'll be loyal. Their relation will also go up as well because, you know, now we're brothers and sisters in the faith. So that's a bummer. I did not realize that they were Catholic. That is actually painful for us because what that does is that, um, that, uh, let's speaking of, let's switch this over. That uh, makes it so they colonized and they were all Catholic as well, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. It's not a big deal. These guys over here, local settler increase. Very good. All right. Let's recall that. Add you guys to the trade company there. Add those there. Just like that. 7.28 goes up to 7.9. All right. Not the most, but it's a it's a welcome difference nonetheless. So are these guys colonizing over here? It looks like they're only colonizing. Okay. So it looks like I have to colonize the land and then they get it. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll see how that goes. We'll uh, we'll figure it out. 
let's convert the natives always always convert the natives if we can so this one is done as well so let's go one two three four five and that gives us a mission which gives us some bonuses over here expand the slave trade Ooh, i don't know about that i don't know about that hey listen lads i'm only doing it because i have to for a mission okay listen hey hands up i i'm not i i, I I have to. I, I'm, my hand is being forced. I don't want to do it, right? Um, five provinces producing slaves that has a manufacturing and at least six base production. All right. Do I have any slave provinces? No. <laughs> I don't have any. This one could get slaves. What is the most likely trade good? Ebony or slaves. All right. So let's see here. Trade goods. So Dahomey has that. These guys have that. Yeah, we don't have any slaves. Really? Hmm. We're going to have to resolve that. I have to go to war with the homies. These guys are allied to Mali, who's actually got a province over... Two provinces, so two, four, or two, three, four. Everybody over here is allied to each other. It's very annoying. Anyways, what will this get us? Every province that meets the requirement gives up major demand for labor, which gives local goods produced modifier 10%. Not bad. Uh, slave labor booming, which gives production time costs, dev costs, great project upgrade costs. Speaking of great projects, I probably should have been upgrading these a while back, right? This one's done, but like this one is not. This one is not. We're making so much money that there's literally no reason to not be upgrading them. So uh, click all that. We're doing enough admin dev to justify it, honestly. Uh, 2,000, but you're building a building. Build, oh, right, yeah, the, the castles that we're building. Right, I knew that. So let's go into our buildings here. Build some infrastructure. Realistically, we should build it in every province. I'll build it in my vassal's lands as well. And then anywhere we're not doing that, let's build some canals to increase uh, local dev and trade value. Trade value is solid. Friendly movement speed, local trade power. Yeah, all those are pretty good. These guys actually give a building slot too, so there's literally no downside to it. Let's go with trade efficiency. Level three, it's fine. This guy's half off, which is incredible. Uh, I'll lose the mercantilism. You don't want your vassals to be gaining liberty desire. It ends up just being a disaster. I should probably annex Liege sooner or later. They've been my vassal for so long. Boost our stab up. We got to improve relations with these lads and we'll be able to uh, annex them sooner or later. No big deal. So as far as our next missions go, beyond the Cape, Ceylon, Malacca, Batavia. Okay. Charter the West Indian Trade Company, the West Indies Company. Which, uh, we have to have three provinces in Eastern America and three provinces in Brazil. Okay, uh, we got the Danes down here. Like, look at this. Why? Why, man? Why are you here? So stupid. So is this all colonial Brazil? It is. So I'm going to get a claim on these lads and we're just going to annex them. Um, and then Eastern America, Scotland, huh? Right, so let's get some uh, claims on Scotland down here as well. Since we finished our expo ideas, you can fabricate claims on overseas uh, colonial regions, which includes this. These are the trade regions. These are the colonial regions. So if you ever see that, I think, uh, what is it? A uh, little lag spike there. Explo, if I recall, or expansion gives trade company regions. So there's a discrepancy there. So make sure you know it. It's important to know. But uh, we also need to upgrade London. So let's upgrade London. And these buildings here, the Globe Theater, huh? Really? That will give Diplotech costs. Not bad, huh? For 2000? Diplotech costs, monthly Diplo power? Nuh uh. Promote culture costs, but we lose the Diplotech costs? Promote culture. 50% patron of the arts. Okay. Stonehenge will give us missionary strength. 
let's uh, move Stonehenge over to Bruga just because that's funny. It'll go quick because it's just crossing the, uh, though, you know, the thing. The Admiralty of Amsterdam, we will not be able to upgrade. Actually, we can upgrade that. Navy tradition. Naval professionalism. Each time we upgrade it. So that'll give us 15. By the way, I had been, uh, naval professionalism. If we hover over it, we can see we have 8.5. Uh, and then we get bonuses based on how much we have. Once we get 40, um, if you have 20, you get... 20% ship trade power, and then if you get 40, you get shore bombardment until the end of the game, which gives siege impact, and then blockade efficiency at um, and privateer efficiency. So there's bonuses that you get based on how much you have. I've definitely been neglecting it, but we should probably put some more time into it, in my opinion. So let's see here. How long until I can click this button? A couple years. It's fine. Okay, so the Grain Coast is almost converted to solid. Add you to the trade company. This isn't required. I do this just for fun. I just like seeing the map mode, you know, like the religious map mode. I just like that. It's just something I appreciate. So these guys are converting, which is really good. Are these guys converting? They are. Nice. Oh, at least they're converting their capital. Are they converting? Let's take a look. Usually colonial nations are not very good about... What's their economy looking like? They might it might be an issue with money. No, they have money. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Anyways, let's take a look at our missions because it's been a minute since I've looked at what's going on over here. Trading enough paper to get the bonus. Right. So if we want that, we're gonna need to take Paris and uh this Nemor, which I have claims on both of them. So let's take a look here. That might be my goal for the next the next thing. Strategic goods, sort by name, go to paper. We need 4% more trading bonus to get that. Though actually occupying his capital might be enough. Let's go for conquest of Paris. They will call in a couple of people I do not care about. I will actually get a claim on, which of these provinces do I want to get a claim on? Dev 333, yeah, this is all worthless. This one is also three, so no big deal. Let's get a claim on that. Recall you. And uh, let's attack France. We will co-belligerent Scotland. No, I'll call in England. Never mind. Let's go for Paris. Attack. We got 30,000 men. So we don't have any rebels coming over here. So let's pull these lads over there. Let's get an admiral. Oh my gosh. That's a good admiral. We'll blockade his navy, navy in here, because why not? And uh, we just need to siege down a couple of provinces. It, it should be pretty straightforward, honestly. I'm not really worried about this war. Paris is, or France is nothing compared to what they used to be. Very good. Get you guys down here with 544. Four, yeah, oh yeah, that's good, General. Better than what they have. So they're reinforcing, but uh, yeah, doesn't look like it matters. They deleted the fort here in Chart. Chart. So... Awesome. Oh my gosh, what is that defensiveness? Religious fanatics? What? Anyways, take a look at that. 57% siege. So as soon as we kill them, we will win it instantly. Though knowing my luck, we win them a 94. Very good. So, if we do this right, we might be able... Actually lost market share. Right. Oh, it's because we're not... Um, hmm. If we steer a bit more of their trade, we might be able to make it happen. I'm going to scorch this province here in Paris. Get up here and kill these lads. And then since they we scorch it, we can come down here. They'll stack wipe themselves. These French do not stand a chance. Look at that. Absolutely getting clapped here. And then over here, destroy them all. Destroy them all. Corrupt the child. Milan coming in here, taking a river crossing. Oh, just kidding. They're not. Just kidding. They're not. All right, lads. Well, that's a good place to call it. So I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. If you are, let me know and uh, leave a like on the video. It does help me out a lot more than you might know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out what's going on on the uh, Discord, subreddit, Twitter, all that. It's all linked in the description below the videos. And um, that's about all I got for you for today. So um, let's go with the East China Sea. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.